Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm one of Spot's co-founders and in this video I'll show you how to quickly customize Spot's incident reporting for your organization. Altogether, this should take you about 10 minutes. I'll show you how to add your organization's name and logo, create a simple Spot URL for easy access, select interviews for incident reporting and make other quick customizations on your own in the Spot dashboard. Let's first log into your Spot dashboard. To do so, go to talktospot.com and then login, or simply type in admin.talktospot.com forward slash login. Then go to customizations in the left sidebar menu. We start with a straightforward one here at the top, your organization name. Enter your organization name as you'd like for it to appear on your Spot page, in incident reporting interviews, in emails that go out to employees, and in spots harassment prevention training if you use it. This way employees always know they're in the right place. Now upload your organization's logo. Your logo will appear on your spot page in the reporting interviews and in the posters available for download in the dashboard and on the training self sign up page. Landscape orientated logos tend to look best. I'll go ahead and add my logo here for Daniel's Mega Inc. Your spot access link is one of the most important things to communicate to employees. Depending on your subscription plan, you can customize your unique complex spot URL to something memorable and easy to access, such as in my case, talktospot.com forward slash Daniels Mega Inc. Now all of my employees will be able to find spot when they need it. Spot offers a range of chat interviews for employees to report issues, feedback, concerns and incidents. Raise an issue is an in-depth interview for more formal grievances, while give quick feedback is a more casual way to surface concerns or questions. Whistleblowing can check your compliance box, while surface COVID concerns is used by companies that want a separate channel for very specific reports on COVID protocol. See something, say something is a misconduct reporting workflow designed for the service industry and takes into account relevant things such as poor customer behavior for people who work in bars, restaurants and breweries. Depending on your subscription plan, you can select two or more interviews it's often helpful to have one short casual interview for lighter feedback and one more involved interview for issues such as harassment, discrimination or bullying. The interviews you select will appear on this page. You can also edit the description of each interview that appears here. Let's say that I want to encourage employees to ask questions for leadership in the quick feedback interview. I could edit that description to submit questions and feedback for Daniel's Mega Inc. leadership to answer or address each week at our all hands. The landing page also contains frequently asked questions so that employees know what to expect before they start a report. The FAQ are another place to add specific details about your organization's policies and processes for dealing with incidents. For example, you may want to edit when can I expect to hear back with an outline of what happens on the HR side when you receive a report. Perhaps your policy is to respond to the reporter within three business days. You can tweak just the answers to the existing questions or you can add your own questions and answers. Finally, on the spot page that employees see, you can also link to your code of conduct, wiki, harassment policy, or any other internal document relevant to incident reporting. Give the document a clear name, such as Mega Inc. Harassment Policy. The document name will appear linked along with the FAQ. The last type of customization that Spot offers in the dashboard is customizations to different questions in the interviews. These first few appear in the raise an issue interview, which is the interview most commonly used for incidents such as harassment, discrimination and bullying. The issue categories questions ask reporters to select a category for the issue they're reporting. Let's say that I'd like to add poor client behavior to the list of selections and to change bullying to moral harassment. 
I can then move on to preferred method of contact, which is where the interview asks reporters how they would like to be contacted about their report. You can remove any options that aren't relevant to your organization and add others that are. For example, if you're a distributed team, you may want to replace in-person with video call. Harassment and discrimination categories include characteristics that may be a reason why the reporter experienced unfair treatment or inappropriate behavior. For example, a black non-binary person may select race and gender identity from the list if they believe both these characteristics are relevant to the issue they're reporting. You can add or remove categories here as well. Some organizations, for example, like to specify appearance as a category. In the Give Quick Feedback interview, you have the opportunity to ask reporters which company value their feedback is most relevant to. This is information that we at Daniels Mega Inc. would like to have. So I'll go ahead and add our values of attention to detail, rigorous optimism, and think before you leap. Please note that if you don't add company values, Spot simply won't ask this question. If you use Spot for whistleblowing, you can edit, add, or remove categories for whistleblowing issues. We've tried to include a default list that is relatively comprehensive here. In both the raise an issue and whistleblowing interviews, you can ask reporters which of your locations they work in and in which department or division. Again, if you don't add locations or departments, Spot simply won't ask these questions. And that concludes your Spot customizations. Don't forget to click Save Changes before you leave the customizations page. Your edits will be live immediately. If you have any questions about customizing Spot or if you would like to see more customizations in the dashboard, please don't hesitate to reach us at hello at talktospot.com. Thank you.